Are you looking for a simple way to begin an abstract painting? Maybe you're not quite sure how to start, or you have an idea, and you want to work it out a little bit first. Well, in this video, I'll show you what I did in one of my um, abstract paintings with a small mini canvas. Now, if this is your first time here, I'm Maureen, and I sure love to share my art with other folks. And I hope you'll join me as I begin the painting. And thanks a lot for stopping by. I'm using, to begin this uh, mini uh, abstract, I'm using a six by six canvas, which was previously painted, so I just went over it with more gesso. And now I'm going to put on um, orange, red, and I think some yellow, or I may choose gold. I just want a warm background. And, uh, you know, in this painting, my idea is to create um, stripes a striped painting with aqua and white. But um, in other words, I guess it's an, this little painting is another way for me to do my um, sketchbook ideas. I want to see if it works. Anyway, so uh, I just am now going over the painting with uh, white paint because I want the background to be somewhat muted. And I'm going to make sure it's very dry and I want to then begin to create my stripes. Now, I could draw them by hand, but I've got this idea that maybe it would be easier with masking tape. So I'm cutting the masking tape, which is actually a half inch wide, but I'm making it narrower than that and wrapping it all the way around, even to the side of the painting. Um, and I want a curvy line. Now some of the masking tape will have the straight edge of the line, so I'm going to go, I <coughs> went back and made some of those edges curvy as well. And now I'm going to start the, the, um, the aqua colors. And I'm just going to do all different shades of aqua. I have green and blue and <coughs> um, aqua, light blue on my palette. And uh, I just want them all to be different shades of aqua. Anyway, so you can sit back and relax, I think, and watch me as I paint this. And uh, I'll give you some more of my thoughts as I progress through the painting. I do have to say that often, you know, you get it, I get an idea of what I want to do with an abstract painting. and. Almost 90% of the time, by the time I'm finished with the painting, it's really the pic painting that's dictated to me what I should do. But you've got to start somewhere, so you just start exploring your ideas, and that's what I'm doing here. with the white stripes. I'm thinking in my mind that the um, aqua and the white are too much, I don't know, there's just not enough pizzazz or enough punch in the painting. So I'm going to try putting in <clears throat> some value on the aqua stripes, a little darker uh, shade of aqua or the blue to just give it a little more depth and a little more uh, pizzazz, as I say. So let's see what happens. I might have to also do something to the white. I'll be thinking about that.
think I'm about through. And like I said in the beginning, these paintings have a mind of their own. And, uh, you know, I started out with an idea in, and uh, look what happened. I got more ideas and I never would have thought about highlighting the white with the orange and the red or the blue with the darker, uh, the aqua with the darker blue. That's the beauty of painting. It just helps you uh, problem solve and think of new things. And I apologize for my coughing. We've had a lot of smoke here in Montana because of the fires in California, Oregon, and Washington. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day.